flight plan. That's a really nice concept you should know. It's called flight plan. I read it first in the book by uh, the author Brian Tracy with the same title. And he basically talks about imagine your life as a flight from A to B. You're now at point A and you want to get to point B. For example, point B is your career, the job you want to get in five years or in 10 years or the better salary. Yeah, so a nice goal. The thing is, your life is not straightforward all the time. It's like a flight. And in this book, Brian Tracy says that in a flight, 99% of the time, the plane is not directing to the goal. The computer or the pilot has to steer all the time to the left or to the right. Maybe it's only 0.1 degree. But the point is, he does not set up the plane and the plane goes straight to the goal. He has to steer the plane all the time into the right directions. One degree to the left, one degree to the right. So please remember, 99% of the time the plane is not going into the right direction. There are always corrections necessary. That means, of course, even if you're not heading towards your goal now, you don't know where you will be in 10 years when you do all the corrections every day. For an example, if you want to exercise more, you cannot say, okay, my plan was to exercise every day. I'm just not able to do it. I quit, right? So every day you can steer into the direction. You can say, okay, yesterday I didn't do it, but I will do it today. And so on and so on. Never give up. Never give up. Always fight against your lassitude. You have to always steer yourself into the right direction. And when we're talking about career, sometimes you don't know what the step is good for. Maybe you made a mistake and you get into trouble with your boss. So you think your plan doesn't work out. The next promotion doesn't work out. That's not necessarily true because you learn something every time. You learn something about your boss. You learn something about yourself and you will be better the next time. You would not have been better if you didn't learn it. I always say for myself, I only practice for the next job. You know what I mean? I practice. I say, not this is my final job. I have to do this for the next 20 years. I allow myself mistakes and I say, okay, these mistakes help me to steer my plane into the right direction and in the next job I will do better. So, of course, you shouldn't say that to your boss, but if you say to yourself, I just practice, quote unquote, for the next job, here I allow myself errors, you know, then you have a more playful mindset of that. It's okay to make errors as long as you correct them later and steer your plane into the right direction. And the good thing is you will always stay flexible. You will learn that change is the only thing which is really constant in your life. You will learn not to rest if everything is too perfect. You know, sometimes everything is perfect and you will learn to accept it and enjoy it and you know that this will not go forever. When I experience something perfect, perfect day, perfect work day, perfect job, when I experience that, then I enjoy it. I really feel it because I know it will be over sometime and I will be prepared for that. Your whole life consists of correcting your course. That's perfectly normal. As long as you have your goals in mind, and you learn from your errors, that's absolutely fine. As long as you can react flexible and are able to change your mind if you learn more, that's absolutely fine. And you follow your flight plan. If you like, write in the comments what your flight plan is. Maybe you can tell the other students how you deal with problems and with your own mistakes. I would be super interested to read your experience.